us now. Good morning to you. Nice to be with you, Deb. We'll talk energy in a moment, but first up, these leaks from Cabinet, this is bringing the government down. Oh, look, all I can say about that is the individual ambition of any particular Cabinet minister and member is nothing compared to our collective ambition to keep Bill Shorten out of the lodge. We've done a lot of good things under Prime Minister Turnbull. You have, There's but a these lot of leaks are really undermining that good work. Do you support an inquiry into this to find out who the source of these leaks is? <laughs> look, all I'm going to say is uh, we are a team and the team does much better when everyone's kicking in the same direction. Well, that sounds and like a, an appeal rather than a We have been doing that and we're going to keep doing that. All right. Now, this <laughs> meeting today... Well, we've got a lot of good work to do. Well, this meeting today, you want to get some good work done, but it is a bit of a waste of time, isn't it? Pretty much every state and territory leader is already saying they're not going to sign on. That's not right at all. Uh, today is a great opportunity for all governments to put the national interest first and politics last and to get behind this national energy guarantee, Do you think they which will? is the recommendation of the experts. I think they will. That's what I'm hoping. That's what we've been striving to do. Uh, the results of the modelling is in. Households will be $400 better off as a result of this program on top of everything that we have done for gas, for networks and retailers. So we are going to get a better deal for energy consumers, big and small. Those savings, though, are in the long term. They're, they're further down the track. And we know that households are suffering today. What can we do to actually reduce that burden? Because it's really a major issue for so many Australian families. Well, Prime Minister Turnbull got together with all the energy retailers and he struck a deal with them uh, to, for millions of Australians to get a better deal on their household bill. And we're already hearing people are saving hundreds of dollars by changing retailers and contracts. He also sat down with all the LNG suppliers and ensured that there wouldn't be any gas shortfalls in the domestic market mm. and Australians would get access to f gas first before it is exported overseas. Uh, we've reined in the power of the big poles and wire companies, the networks, we've passed legislation through the parliament. So you are starting to see some improvements in the energy sector, although the problems here, Deb, have been building for a decade and unfortunately Australians have not been well served by the argy bargy in Canberra. All right, well, good luck with the meeting today. I think you'll need it. The states and territories, it's always a bit of fireworks when you get together. Nice day in Hobart, <laughs> though. Thank you for your time this morning. Good to be with you.